Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn how to perform some mole mass stoichiometry calculations. So let's jump right in and take a look at an example problem. In this example it says that excess sodium carbonate reacts with 9.75 moles of cobalt 2 nitrate according to the reaction equation shown below. We need to calculate the number of grams of sodium nitrate produced during the reaction. So we have a chemical reaction here where we have sodium carbonate reacting with cobalt 2 nitrate and this is going to end up producing sodium nitrate and cobalt 2 carbonate. And in this problem here we are trying to figure out the number of grams or mass of this stuff right here, sodium nitrate, that is produced when we have 9.75 moles of cobalt 2 nitrate being consumed in this chemical reaction. And what makes this a mole mass stoichiometry problem is the fact that the starting quantity is expressed in moles. We have 9.75 moles of cobalt 2 nitrate and what we're trying to figure out and find is the number of grams of this stuff right here, sodium nitrate, or the mass of this stuff right here. So the known quantities in moles the unknown quantity we're trying to find in grams, which is mass, so that makes this a mole mass stoichiometry problem. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this chemical equation down here, and we're going to go ahead and balance that chemical equation. That's the first step in any stoichiometry problem, is to balance the chemical equation. So in this problem here, we have sodium carbonate, or Na2CO3, reacting with cobalt 2 nitrate, CO. NO32 and this is going to end up producing sodium nitrate or NaNO3 plus cobalt 2 carbonate. So the very first thing we're going to do is balance this chemical equation. We see that we have two sodiums on the left and so now we have two sodiums on the right hand side of this equation. If we take a look here we now have two nitrogens on the left and we have two nitrogens on the right. If we take a close look, we have one carbon on the left, we have one carbon here on the right, we have one cobalt here on the right, and we have one cobalt here on the left. Last but not least, oxygens. We have three oxygens here, and two times three is six. So three plus six is nine oxygens on the left. We have two times three is six oxygens here, plus the three here makes nine oxygen. So our chemical equation is now balanced. So now we can go ahead and start the stoichiometry process. In this example here, we're starting with 9.75 moles of cobalt 2 nitrate. And so what we're trying to figure out here is the number of grams of sodium nitrate that is produced. So how can we do this? Well, if we're asked to figure out the number of grams of sodium nitrate, then we're going to have to figure out the number of moles of sodium nitrate. And the way that we figure out the number of moles of this is by using a mole ratio between this stuff here and this stuff here. So what we have to do is we have to cancel out the moles of cobalt 2 nitrate. So we'll put that at the bottom of this little fraction here. and we're going to have to figure out the number of moles of NaNO3 that are produced. If we take a look right here, we'll be able to figure this out by looking at our balanced chemical equation. Once we're done with this, what we need to do is then cancel out the number of moles of NaNO3 and figure out the number of grams of NaNO3 and we can do this by looking at our periodic table of elements. So in this step right here, this is going to be our mole ratio step. And in this step right here, this is where we're going to have to convert the moles of NaNO3 to grams of NaNO3. So let's go ahead and fill in these empty spaces here. If we take a look here, this is our mole ratio. 
And if you remember, a mole ratio compares two things. It compares the unknown quantity, which in this case is this. We were asked to figure out the number of grams of this when we had 9.75 grams of this. I'm sorry, moles of this, I apologize. And so what we need to do is we need to draw a comparison between the unknown stuff and the known stuff by looking at our balanced chemical equation. And what this tells us is that for every two moles of NaNO3 that are produced, one mole, there's an imaginary one right here, one mole of cobalt-2 nitrate is consumed. So our mole ratio here is going to be two, two moles of NaNO3 for every one mole of CONO32. So that is our mole ratio. And now in this next step, what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to figure out the molar mass of NaNO3. So let's go ahead and do that. To figure out the molar mass of NaNO3, what we're going to have to do, and we'll do it right here, is figure out the number of each atom or element in this compound. So we have NaNO3, and we're trying to figure out the molar mass. So this is made up of sodium of nitrogen and oxygen if we take a look here there's one sodium there's one nitrogen and there are three oxygen atoms that make up this compound here so we'll have to take one times the molar mass of sodium which if you look on that periodic table of elements that just popped up you'll see is 22.99 then we'll take one times the molar mass of nitrogen which if you take a look at that periodic table of elements that just popped up you'll see is 14.01 and we'll take 3 times the molar mass of oxygen which is 16.00 if you take a look at that molar mass or that periodic table that just popped up and I'm leaving the units off our calculation we know that molar mass is expressed in grams per mole so we can just attach the grams per mole unit to the end of our calculation. So we're going to take 22.99 plus 14.01 plus 48.00. And we're going to end up with, let's do this again, 22.99 plus 14.01 plus 48.00. And we end up with 85, 85.00. grams per mole. So this is not our final answer. This is just the molar mass of our NaNO3. We know that one mole of NaNO3 is 85.00 grams of NaNO3. So how do we put this all in our calculator? Well, we're going to start all the way on the left here with the starting quantity. We're going to work our way from left to right. If we come across the number other than one in the numerator, we're going to multiply and if we come across the number other than one in the denominator, we're going to divide. But we don't have anything in the denominator here other than one, so we won't be dividing at all. So we'll just take 9.75 times 2 times 85.00. And we're going to end up with, if we use the correct number of significant figures, we're going to end up with 1.68 Let me put this in red here. 1.68 times 10 to the third grams of sodium nitrate. And this is going to be our final answer right here. So if we have 9.975 moles of cobalt-2 nitrate reacting with an excess amount of sodium carbonate how many grams of sodium nitrate will be produced well we just figured that out 1.68 times 10 to the third which is going to be the same thing as 1680 grams of nano3 Either one of these answers should be correct. We're using three significant figures here, so our final answer needs to be in three significant figures as well. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right-hand corner, and that will subscribe to my channel. And feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys found this helpful.